The case against Donald Trump for allegedly mishandling U.S. classified documents has widened. Prosecutors have leveled additional charges against the former president. This is yet another setback for Trump, who is among the Republican frontrunners in the presidential elections next year. The three new federal charges were leveled by the prosecutors on Thursday. These include an additional count of willful retention of secret documents and two counts of obstructing the ongoing investigation in the case. One of his employees has also been slapped with federal charges. Trump and his maintenance worker, Carlos de Oliveira, have been accused of evading officials looking for the documents by conspiring to delete surveillance footage at his Mar-a-Lago house in Florida. Special counsel Jack Smith brought charge of willful retention against Trump by citing one of his interviews at his New Jersey golf resort. Smith said that Trump could be heard about bragging about a plan of attack against another country. Meanwhile, Oliveira was charged on basis of documented conversation he had with another employee in which he was allegedly talking about deleting a footage from Mar-a-Lago's camera server. The new charges add to the 37 criminal counts Trump alleg allegedly already faces in the case. The former U.S. president has dismissed the charges describing them as another attempt by the Biden administration to score political gains. Moreover, the new charges were leveled on the same day when Trump's lawyers met with prosecutors over his possible indictment in a separate case in which he has been accused of attempting to overturn the result of the 2020 presidential election. Earlier, Trump had pleaded not guilty to criminal charges, which accused him of not returning the sensitive government records, which he took after leaving the White House. We earlier spoke to our correspondent, Susan Tehrani, on this matter. She got us the general details of this latest development. Listen in. So we now have three additional accounts added to that Mar-a-Lago document case. Two of them involve willful destruction of records in which they allege that former President Donald Trump and two other individuals told a Mar-a-Lago employee to get rid of surveillance footage at Mar-a-Lago so it won't get in the hands of the grand jury. Uh, the other account against this new person is this maintenance guy, Carlos Del Vera, uh, making false statements to the FBI in a voluntary manner. Uh, apparently, he did not have to give this interview to the FBI. He volunteered, and now the FBI alleges that he lied. What's interesting is that on Thursday, we were waiting for some kind of indictment or news regarding another case against the former president regarding January 6th, which special counsel Jack Smith is also in charge of. However, now we learn that he was working on this Mar-a-Lago document case and are trying to strengthen this. This is all about trying to prove that the former president was involved in some kind of obstruction, which is very difficult to do. The former president, of course, has denied all of these allegations. Politically, this won't have an effect on the former president in any way. We've seen a time and again that with every indictment or every news regarding an indictment or a possible charge, the president gets more popular among the Republican Party, and he's leading very comfortably among other potential candidates. But it's also noteworthy that the more indictments come against the former president, the more likely that something might go wrong and something might ultimately happen. It's also important to note that it seems at this point the presidential race has been torpedoed not only by former President Donald Trump's legal problems on the Republican side, but President Joe Biden and his son Hunter's issues on the Democrat side as well, really sucking the air out of anyone else's campaign trying to get a word out regarding policy.